the second half, the, the best attacking team in the comp. We must be pretty proud of the guys. Yeah, very proud. I thought we were, um, first half was really good. I thought we um, really came to play, played some good footy. Um, yeah, controlled the game reasonably well. As we were maybe, maybe better than 10 points ahead, you know, ahead at half time. Started the second half really well too. Made a couple of breaks. Um, just couldn't quite get, you know, capitalise on those. And then, yeah, pretty much from then, uh, obviously playing with a bit of freedom. I was plenty of offloads. And they got obviously, yeah, a lot of strike. And yeah, I thought the boys did really, really well actually to, to hold them out there. When you say they came to play, Ivan, was was it a difficult week for the players as much as you? <laughs> um, look, you'd have to ask. The boys, um, uh, but all I can say is that I never once saw them anything other than completely focused on their preparation. Um, had a long week, so there's a, you know, quite a few training sessions, uh, which at this time of year can be difficult. Um, but they were yeah really good throughout the week, and I thought it showed the way they played. Was it hard for the coach to say stay focused on his preparation? No, because that's my job. Russell, obviously, um, the fact that you're still chasing the eight must have given you a, an extra bit of motivation to focus this week, despite all the distractions off the field. Yeah, what distractions? <laughs> oh, the fact that... <laughs> no, okay, I, well, <laughs> Ivan, Phil Gould came out and he said... I know, look, I'm not going to talk... No, but seriously, know. like, well, you said yesterday there was misinformation out there, mate. Yeah, What's the right. misinformation? Can you, can you fill us in on that? Well, I've been... I'm sure you can find the misinformation. Oh, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm sorry, mate. I get it. I get it. It's, you know, we've all run a big story on it, but I'm, I said my position yesterday, I'm not going to talk about it. So you want to talk about the game, I'm happy to talk about that. Well, what was the message to the guys in the Sheds draft again? Sorry, what, was, what was your message to the guys in the Sheds draft? Hey, was he still alive? Huge game against the Dragons? Yeah, I was, well, I said, um, yeah, I was proud of the way they pre uh, prepared and performed, and I thought, at the end there, it was pretty obvious that they were just determined not to let that one go uh, under enormous pressure. So uh, it shows what it meant to them and um, yeah, sets up a nice uh, nice meeting against the Dragons next week. The Raiders got the hold of you in the, the last few meetings and they smashed you in, in June. How satisfying is it to come down here and get them on, on their turf after yeah, the recent few meetings? Oh, is that one? What was that, sorry? Yeah, the Raiders have got the better of you in the last That storm meetings. game's distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got hold of you early season. How satisfying is it to get one back on them? Yeah, it was, well, obviously I played at the game out at Campbelltown, so you know, that was disappointing to be a part of. And um, you know, definitely remember those losses. You always remember your losses and some more than others. So um, it was good to come out here. I thought we played really well in the first half. Um, we defended really good in the second half. It was... It was pretty much a game of two halves. We had all the ball. They'd done all the tackling in the first half and then in the second half it flipped. So I thought the boys um, hung on really well. Um, you know, definitely played like a team. We come together defending for each other. And, um, you know, that kind of, um, those characteristics have defined our season. So, um, you know, as you said before um, about um, you know, being knocking on the door for Sydney Finals football, it's uh, always, get, always good to get to this point in the season and still have a chance, which... You know, we definitely do. Um, we just have to focus on winning our games. And, um, you know, we've got a big, tough game against the Dragons next week at Leichhardt. So definitely can't wait to get back home and play in front of our home crowd again. Uh, hopefully we get a full full stadium there, get it rocking, and, you know, put out a performance to match. So obviously some pretty decent individual performances, but, um, you know, Cheekham and SR Masters, it must be, you know, it must be great to see guys like that firing. Yeah, yeah. Um, She's been you know, in some really good form and obviously uh, Isan's a really good young um, player and you know, he's got all the talent in the world so you know, I think he's, um, he's doing a really good job for our team this year and um, yeah, it's good to see the boys performing well and um, you know, try and prepare the best that we can and um, come out and you know, perform and I guess that's our job so I, I, as a captain of this team I was really happy with you know, our performance from the whole squad so um, very pleasing to be a part of that. Um, feels good to play, you know, alongside people, you know, that are turning up for you. So, um, yeah, it's a good feeling. Jeez, guys, thank you.